Thank you. Come on, Spot. We're down here in the Burntwood Canyon. Upper part's up there about 300 feet. Another 200 foot drop down to these cottonwoods. Why are we here? Well, to give a little bit of honor to the first homesteader in Southwest Nebraska. I said the first homesteader in Southwest Nebraska. After the Civil War, a black man came out to Kansas, Western Kansas, to homestead. He wanted to get as far away from civilization as he could get. So as he was coming up on the northwestern uh, corner, he made the mistake and crossed into the Nebraska side of the Burntwood. And he was here for some time and got a good field of corn in. And uh, lo and behold, though, the old cavalry, they showed up. U.S. Cavalry, and they said, you're on Indian side. You're on the Nebraska side. That's Indian territory. Now, they said, if the Pawnee catch you out here, they probably won't kill you. But if the Sioux see you, <clears throat> they'll kill you just for sport. And he said, but you're still illegally here, so get off. He agreed to get off. And they left, but he wasn't about to leave that cornfield growing well here on the Burntwood. Now, they never came back to check to see if he had actually left. Well, the Indians did show up, and he traded with them. And yeah, he traded guns and whiskey, and it worked out well. They liked him, and he liked them. They worked well. They left him alone. He lived on the Burntwood and the Nebraska side for five years before he finally moved back down on the Kansas side. But that old black man was the first homesteader in southwest Nebraska. And his name, well, it's lost to time. I asked my folks about it, and they said back then there was plenty of racism to go around. No, they sure didn't want to give a black man any credit for being the first person other than an Indian to homestead in this part of the country. And so it was forgotten, but he was the first. And you talk about a tough man. And the Burntwood, one of its novelties is there's a subspecies of coach whip snake here. The Indian said that coach whip was twice as long as a horse and just as fast as a horse for a short distance. Now the biggest one I've ever seen was 11 foot long that I stepped off. He was dead. But I had a narrow road, 14 foot across, and there was snake stretched across there and you couldn't see the head in the ditch in one side or the tail in the other side of the ditch. 14 foot road. A lot of people say I uh, confused or it ain't right or maybe I'm just lying but never forget that a snake never stops growing for the length of its life and so it can get as long as it can grow and for age and that must have been a grandpa snake for sure and for certain but I've seen it and I've had others old timers tell about some monster coach whips out this direction but at the same time I leave them alone Ain't no person I've ever heard of ever bitten by a coach whip. Of course now, rattlesnakes, that's a different subject. And I'll take out and kill any rattler I see out here to protect the livestock, pets, and children. This is a burntwood, and that was the first homesteader.